Welcome to Producers Paradise, y'all. My name is Wayne Olive, and I'm gonna talk to y'all today about. I'm gonna talk to y'all today about the art of sampling. Now, sampling is not something that comes overnight. Now, what I'm gonna show you today, it may look like it will, but in reality, yeah, it can be. But it takes a motive, and it takes a will to broaden your horizon in music, and just search for different types of music. Sampling is not just, oh, I can chop this and hook it on a beat. No, there's more to it than that. This is something from Lummy D. Because I know a lot of y'all cats nowadays like to sample, take a sample of an acapella. From, they, you'll take the chorus of the acapella and then you'll, cut, you'll chop that out. So either screw the voice and then add a beat to it but it's more to it than that now sampling sampling is just something you just don't say you just don't chop a sample and then add it to a beat and real technically it's more to it than that I, I mean I can't stress that enough but anyways here we're gonna use a sample from Lemmy D I found a sample from Lemmy D from my, her CD the song is called So Cool Hollywood and then what I'm about to show you is called a naked sample now a naked sample is basically self explanatory here's a, a prime example of a naked sample with no interference from any other type of audio meaning whether it's vocals instruments or other instruments I mean so this is an example of a naked sample. That's a good example of a naked sample. It's clean. Now it's clean and it's just right on point. It's what we're looking for. That's a good example. A good sample. Now before I go into my tangent about finding clean samples because I know some of y'all catch man when y'all sample y'all don't care what it is if it sound tight and original if it's dirty and muffled y'all still use it can't do that man you don't I mean you should why would you, when you do your music see I'm real I'm real I shoot for perfection on my music let me tell you something when I do my music I like it for it to sound nice clean clear I mean, why would you want your music to sound all muffled? This is not 1980, 19, this ain't 1770, man. Get up to date. The Sony Sound 4 is right now. And all I did was press Control C. Hold on. Here go the sample right here, right? We won't, we won't just this portion of the sample. We're going to take it and we're going to chop it all the way to about right there. Going to press Control C. And then you're going to press Control N. And then you're going to press Control V. Okay. That's all you got to do. To chop a sample out of what you want from a song. That's a prime example of a naked sample. And let me show you what I'm going to do with it. You want to, in Sony Sound Force 9, they got a feature on there where you can lower the pitch of it of a particular audio wave file, mp3 file, or any other audio format. We're going to take it down to 12. Mine was already set to 12, but you want to take it down to 12. Make sure this is unchecked, and make sure this is all the way up. Leave that like it is, and press OK. Well, let me preview it first. That's a that's a perfect example of a clean sample. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this and go save it as. I'm just gonna name it Lummy D sample. Here are the sample.
Now, now, now I'm really, I'm really shooting for a type of up tempo. Well, not really up tempo, but a, a bounce feel, you know. So let me try this out. Get that club feel going, you know. Take that part off. Take that off. And maybe just do this right here. When you save it in Sony Sound Forward, save it in your sample folder library. Okay. Then just all you got to do is come over here and press re restructure or press Control R. Make sure you have pressed F8 first and bring to open this up to open up your view browser, your sample library, and then make press Control R. Just press this. Then just scroll down to find whatever you name the sample. Click and drag it as an audio clip. You don't want it as a normal sample in in the pattern box. You want to import it as an audio clip. That's the quickest way. Instead of just going to channel, add one audio clip, then browsing for it. Okay, but anyways, let me show you. Here got a track I just put together. Okay, that, that's just something simple. I mean, that's just something real simple. But that's about it for sampling. When you sample something, try not to sample things that are ordinary and something that's just common. Like, say, Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's something common. A lot of people didn't sample from them. It's so common. Another example, Aretha Franklin, so common. The Commodores, so common. Um, who else? Curtis Mayfield. All those soul funk people from back in the 70s, man. Just be original. I'm not saying you can't sample from them, you shouldn't. But I'm, I just want to... Just try to get y'all to stray away from that. Try to venture your broaden your horizon in music. Try to venture out, and that's what sampling is all about. And that's what I want to make my point across today. But before I go, here's the here's here's what I'm trying to get you at. Here's where I'm trying to get y'all at. I got a track that I'm working on now that I'm stuck on really, and. I got a sample from three, the 300 movie. Okay. Got a sample from the 300 movie. And. Hold on. Okay. Let me show you, let me show you the original. What the sample is. Let me show you what the sample is. play the track that's hot right there man. hardcore right there that's hardcore That's just an example of what sampling is really about. That's something ordinary, unique, just different. Okay, but that's all I got for today. My next tutorial will be coming soon. Stay stay on the lookout on YouTube for now until I get my site up. 